Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising, Male and Female. Who's coming towards you? Keep in mind that this is a general reading. Only take what resonates, leave the rest for someone else. Let's get into it. Let's see who's coming towards Cancer. Alright, two shuffles. Spirit and Universe, give me clear messages. Let's see who's coming towards Cancer. All right, let's see. We got the Seven of Swords. Could be an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Somebody who's very deceptive or somebody who could be sneaky, uh, lying, that type of thing. Seven of Swords. Let's see what are their intentions towards you. We got the Queen of Pentacles. So you could be very grounded, very stable, financially stable, uh, very confident, Really focused on your finances and your money. So it looks like this person may be wanting to use you. I mean, this is their intentions. Okay, so their intentions could be to get with someone who's very stable, successful, grounded, that type of thing. Okay, let's see. What is the challenge? We got the hangman. Interesting. Okay. Let's see. How do they see you? We have the eight of cups. Wow. So they see you as not being interested. Okay, emotionally walking away. Um, You could have set and thought on this here really thinking about things from a different perspective really just getting time or having time to really sit and think about this okay with the hangman um and it looks like you've chosen to leave this person hanging um you could be picking up on their sneaky ways as well um but with the eight of cups this is how they see you so you know taking a new path um emotionally walking away is what I'm getting. How do they feel about you? We have the three of pentacles. So they feel as though you would have been like a great candidate to work with, um, somebody who they can collaborate with, with the three of pentacles. Okay. But I'm getting, you know, they feel that you're, I, I don't know why I'm getting that. Maybe you're really, you're a good worker or maybe you're receiving some sort of recognition for your work. Okay. Maybe you have a good paying job here is what I'm getting. Because I'm getting a lot of sneaky energy coming from this person. Okay, with who's coming towards you. Definitely somebody who is very sneaky and deceptive and dishonest. Let's see, what are they not telling you? We have the Eight of Swords. So they could be feeling trapped or in some sort of a situation um, with this Eight of Swords. And they could not be telling you that maybe you're like on their mind. They could be trying to strategize and plan is what I'm getting with the seven of swords how to take from you or how to benefit from you if that makes any sense let's see what are they hiding from you we have the five of swords yeah this person is um all about mind games here okay playing mind games and they're all about winning at all cost or at any cost okay what do they need to work on? We got the six of wands. Okay, where's this relationship headed? We have the ten of wands. So definitely I feel like there's going to be a lot of heavy burdens. Or you're going to be taking on the bulk of the responsibilities. Taking on this person's baggage. I feel like they have a lot of it as well. And so if you were to give this relationship a chance, I feel like it would be headed you, you know, down this road. The ten of wands It's going to be a lot to carry, a lot of baggage. And you're going to be taking on a lot of this responsibility a lot of other people's responsibilities a lot of this person's baggage as well and the outcome we have the fool so starting a new beginning taking a leap of faith here is what i'm getting so let's go ahead and clarify it, it definitely seems to me that this person is one to hold back the truth okay um yeah they're very sneaky they're very deceptive um, and you know, they're up to no good. That's who's coming towards you. Definitely could be an air sign. We got a lot of air energy here. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So let's clarify the seven of swords for who's coming towards you. Yeah. Again, I knew this damn ace of swords was going to come out. Somebody who holds back the truth. Somebody who doesn't state the truth. They don't state facts. You know, they, they hold back. You know, they're very sneaky and dis and dishonest. Very deceptive is what I'm getting. Okay, definitely could be an air sign. 
Let's see their intentions towards you. We do have the Queen of uh, Pentacles. And we have the Star card. So them wanting to heal this connection. But I feel like there's a hidden agenda. I feel like, you know, this person is in it for money or financial purposes. Again, what they can get out of you. Let's see the Hangman. This is um, the challenge. Okay, so kind of like you getting or you having some time to really sit and think about things and you're, you know, kind of like a light bulb must have went off in your head and you're kind of like looking at things from a different perspective and you're juggling with this idea and, you know, you may even feel that this person is juggling or they may have a habit of juggling more than one project, you know, um, they may have a lot on their plate, um, but they see you as emotionally walking away, um, cha like turning, you know, this turning point. Yeah, emotionally walking away uh, to new love, maybe going after your true love or, you know, soul searching, um, taking on this new direction and going after new love. This is how they see you. Um, so you're kind of like no longer interested in what they have to offer. I feel like you're focused on building something solid and pouring into your foundation here with this, with the star card. Okay. Um, but again, they still have this in their head that this relationship is, it can be salvaged. You know, this relationship can be healed with the star card. Like they're still having hope and staying optimistic that you will give them another chance or that you will try to work things out with them. Um, again, we have the three of pentacles for how they feel about you. So I feel like for a lot of you, you're getting a lot of recognition in your work. Yeah. You're very stable, very creative, very grounded. You're very nurturing. That's the energy that I'm getting. Yeah. And they, and they feel like you would be a perfect candidate to, um, collaborate with okay but again they may have a hidden agenda not being truthful not being honest so let's clarify this eight of swords for what they are not telling you we have the nine of pentacles okay so um they could be feeling trapped in their circumstances um Okay, so they could be sneaking, yeah, because they're coming towards you in this Seven of Swords energy. So they're that's kind of like sneaking, um, you, you know, sneaking, maybe wanting to communicate with you, trying to get away with something, not being honest. Okay, because they may feel trapped in the situation, um, and they want they may want to be single, they may want to be free and independent, but they feel trapped in their circumstances. So they may feel trapped into a relationship or something that they're not happy okay and what they're hiding we have the five of swords um for some reason i'm getting maybe they could maybe want to use you to make some someone else jealous with this five of swords energy okay and this is what they're hiding from you it could be mind games as well okay and we have the seven of wands so being very defensive um okay could be dealing with a fire sign as well what do they need to work on we got the six of wands and the Queen of Cups. So, um, I really feel like they need to maybe work on their emotions. I feel like they could be trying to put up a front or maybe trying to get someone else jealous. Okay, where this relationship is headed, we have the Ten of Wands. So, again, I feel like you will be carrying a lot of heavy baggage. This person has a lot of heavy baggage. And I feel like you will be taking on the bulk of the responsibility. I feel like it will be too much for you to carry. When it comes to trying to build a, a relationship and or connection with this person. Um, and we have the sun card. So I feel like you're looking forward to new beginnings, healthy and happy relationships. Taking this new leap of faith here, new beginnings, okay, is the outcome. And we have the five of pentacles. So you could be leaving this person out in the cold here, okay. That definitely could be what I'm getting for some of you. Let's go ahead and grab um, some Romance Angels and some Angel Answers. And then we're going to bring this reading to a close. So let's see what we got for Cancer and Love. Okay. We have getting, mm, excuse me, getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other. Your bond deepens. We have chemistry and we also have make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take bottom of the deck energy we have deception so 
Again, this could be somebody that you've been getting to know or maybe new love. Maybe you've had that uh, chemistry with each other. You've had that connection, trying to open up and get to know one another. Um, but it looks like this person may didn't take the the didn't put in the effort that that it was worth to put in to keep you. Okay, and there's definitely deception surrounding this person. This could be somebody from your past life or past relationship. Okay, that may want to you know their agenda is to come forward to heal this connection with you. But I feel like. There's a hidden agenda, okay? Um, this person could be trying to use you to make someone else jealous, okay? Or they just could be being very deceptive and playing mind games altogether. Let's see what we got for Cancer. Yeah, we got no. Be assertive. Definitely mean what you say. Say what you mean here. There's something better, yeah, in improving health. So this person still has a lot to improve within themselves, before you're able to accept this person and you're being assertive and you definitely could be letting them know that. Spirit is saying that there is something better, okay? So that's what I have for you. All the elements is here. If this one resonated with you in any way, like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.